Good morning. Welcome to Mama Sue's Kitchen. Hope you're having a great day today. I am going to make something that I have made for you in the past that's one of my favorite things to make. But it's my strawberry cake and I made it in three layers before. So many of you ask me, can you make it in a sheet cake pan? Yes, you can make it in a 9 by 13 and that's what I'm going to do today because um, I am taking this cake somewhere and it'll be easier for them to transport it uh, in a nine by 13 dish. But it is, this recipe is in my volume two cookbook. There's still a few of those left, I think, but it's on page 51 if you have it. All right. You're gonna start with one box of white cake mix. It doesn't matter the brand that you use. I'm using Pillsbury. And like I say, it doesn't matter. Just use the white cake mix. To that, you're gonna add one three ounce box of strawberry jello and I'm using the Great Value brand. It works just as well. And it's cheaper. Okay. Now, to that, I'm going to add one cup of vegetable oil. Everybody says, this cake is so moist. It's because of the vegetable oil. So I'm adding that. And then I'm gonna use this same measuring cup for something else in just a minute. Then I'm going to use a half cup of whole milk. I can remember when I first started cooking with y'all I said sweet milk. Well, that blew some of your minds. I guess it's a Southern thing that we call whole milk sweet milk. And if it was non-fat milk or 2%, that's what we would call it. But just whole milk, a half a cup. And we're gonna put four eggs. I think I'm gonna have to get one more egg out. That one looked like it had cracked a little. One. Two. get one more egg out because some of the white of that has leaked out. The last thing that I'm going to use is one cup of strawberries with the juice. Now, I told y'all in my recipe that I get the strawberries that are in a little tub. They're already sliced with sugar. So, you can see, and with this, I'm going to to make sure that I get juice also. When we do the frosting, we don't want any juice. Okay. All right. That's how I do that. 
now I'm going to use my mixer and I'm just going to mix this all together. This is a very simple cake to make and I get so many requests to make this cake for people. We always have a, an option, a solid option at one of our Speed the Light events, which Speed the Light is our youth's mission giving. And they always ask me if I'll make a strawberry cake. put just a tad more juice in it because okay to get these little pieces of strawberry off. Okay. Now I sprayed my Pyrex dish. And I'm just going to pour this in. Now, normally, like I said, say I will make the three layer cake and I just divide this batter equally among the three cake pans. But these are easier to make because you don't have to worry about frosting between the layers and the sides and everything. And it's gonna taste the same. It's gonna be delicious. The Speed the Light option was uh, a week ago on a Sunday night and uh, I was out of town. I was in Louisiana, so I couldn't make one. But I told them if they would, um, if they wanted to do it, to put an IOU and let, if someone wanted to bid on it, and I would make the cake for them when I got back. And I think that's what they did. So I'll be making this cake, but you're going to put this in a preheated 350 degree oven. Now, it's going to cook differently than the layers. So, it's going to cook from 34 to 38 minutes. And I'm going to check it about 34 minutes. But when it comes out, I'll let you know exactly. My cake cooked. Uh, it said to bake it. On the box, remember it said 33 to 38 minutes. Well, I cooked it about 35 minutes. But you can check it by sticking a toothpick in. If it comes out clean, it's okay. Now, I'm going to make the frosting. And remember, it's on page 51 of volume 2. And it calls for... An eight ounce block of cream cheese, softened. And I put that out today so it would soften. And one stick of softened butter. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna mix that together before I add my other ingredients. Okay. 
okay? Now, add about three, the recipe calls for three and a half to four cups of powdered sugar. Well, I add the powdered sugar until it gets the consistency that I want. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put two cups right now. Stick your mixer in there because it's powdered. And start it on low. Now this next step before I add more powdered sugar is I think what determines how much powdered sugar you have to add. It says three fourths cup of well mashed strawberries. So I took those strawberries out of the rest of that can and I put them in a strainer, strainer and then I chopped them. So now I'm going to add my third cup. It depends on the strawberries. If they are real juicy, you're going to have to add more powdered sugar after these. Now you can see that it's pretty thick, but I'm gonna add a little bit more because that's where people will text me and they'll say, why is my frosting so runny? You have to look and especially on a layer cake, you've gotta have it thicker. Now on this, Sheet cake, it's not going to be so bad. Okay. So you're going to see. going on a layer cake, I would make it a little bit thicker. I would add a little bit more powdered sugar. But because it's going on this sheet cake, uh, this will be fine. Now some of you are going to say, what are these three indentations right there? That's where one of the strawberries were whole and it was up in the top of the batter and it kind of sunk as it baked. They're not gonna know it at all because I'm gonna put this yummy frosting on it. I hope you can see it. I'm doing it again by myself today. Harold doesn't feel well. He he has a some kind of bug or something, and he doesn't feel good at all. So. I'm doing it by myself and I miss him helping me. Just gonna put all of this on here.
this cake, strawberry cake was Harold's daddy's favorite. And then it has become, it's one of my favorites. Now, my most favorite is German chocolate. But I love this strawberry cake. Chris loves strawberry cake. Well, I think we all do. And it's not that hard to make. You all can look at it and see how easy it is. Now, we'll put this in the refrigerator because of the cream cheese. But actually, I'm gonna take it up to the church and put it in the refrigerator because the ladies will be taking it tomorrow. And there's more room up there in, in the church refrigerator than in mine. Mm. Now I can tell you that this is delicious. Okay. If Harold wasn't sick, he'd come in here and he would be scooping the goodness off this spoon and these beaters. But do you see how easy this was? The recipe will be on my website, mamasusouthernkitchen.com, and you can get the whole thing. This is a good cake for you to make for yourself, but really when you're gonna take food somewhere, make it in a nine by 13. There's no trouble to making that. Thank you for following me. Be salt and light. Give someone a smile wherever you go. You never know what someone's going through. And just a smile. Be kind. It makes all the difference in the world. Thank you for following me.